Tel Aviv lit up in the colours of the United Arab Emirates. After Thursday's agreement between Israel and the UAE to establish full diplomatic relations following months of negotiations brokered by the United States. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu described the deal as historic. This is the greatest advancement toward peace between Israel and the Arab world in the last 26 years, and it marks the third formal peace between Israel and an Arab nation. U.S. President Donald Trump said the deal was to be signed in Washington within three weeks and is a significant step towards achieving peace in the Middle East. Now that the ice has been broken, I expect more Arab and Muslim countries will follow the United Arab Emirates lead. Meanwhile, the UAE spoke of a victory for diplomacy, adding that as part of the deal, Israel had agreed to suspend its plans to annex part of the Palestinian territories. So this is how the idea began. And the idea was uh, very clear that Israel will commit in a three-week phone call with the United States to stopping annexation, suspending it. In January, the U.S. gave Israel a green light to annex areas including the Jordan Valley, a strategic strip along the Jordanian border, as well as some 130 Jewish settlements in the West Bank. Netanyahu has stressed that these plans are delayed, but by no means cancelled.